This is Kenny with BW1.com. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy Gear Watch. It's a new smartwatch. It comes with a 800 megahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM, and about four gigabytes of internal storage. As you can see, it's a pretty lightweight, kind of nice, small design, very tight, tightly fitting. Um, has a camera up here on the front, four megapixel camera there. Uh, only has one button on it. It's going to be just this power button right here on the side. Everything else that you're going to be doing is going to be all gesture based. So right from the start off the start screen, if you want to take a photo, you have your camera here. You can do videos as well. And then you want to go back, you just swipe up there. Uh, again, you have your a lot of stuff. The whole point of the the watch is to be synced with your phone. So all you, so you have access to a lot of things like your notifications. So if you got a text message, you get a phone call, you're going to get those notifications there. Oh, it's obviously not connected right now. Voice memo. S voice, so again, if you want to do some sort of simple searches, instead of having to pull out your phone, you can just do an S voice search right here directly. Got yourself a nice little gallery, so all the little photos that you're taking, you can do videos as well, like I said. So here's a little short video here, kind of giving you an idea as to what you can do. Um, got your music control, so if you have your phone in your pocket, too lazy to pull it out, you want to change your songs, change your volume, all that good stuff, you got some simple controls there. Pedometer, um, obviously this is going to be probably used by a lot of people as a fitness device, so it syncs up with your Galaxy phone if you have the you know Galaxy S4 or the Notes. Uh, it's going to have that same sort of interface as far as being able to do your, your fitness things. Settings, you got a bunch of different clock settings here, so for people that want to have different you know, settings here as far as your pedometer settings. If you have uh, meetings, if you want to just have like, you know, regular looking analog watch face. So a lot of cool stuff there. Um, so going back here, you can do alerts. You got your Bluetooth settings, you got your screen lock. So if you know, you feel like people might be looking on your screen too often and you want to be secure with it, you can set up yourself a little pattern lock there. Um, here information, not a whole lot here, but you know, it tells you the model number, the software version. Got your battery percentage here. Oops. Keep going back. Through here. Uh, you also have apps that you can download, so eventually there's going to be like kind of an app store. So I'm sure there's going to be some specific apps that you can do. But you can do, you know, golf if you're out in the golf course and want to keep track of your things. Uh, dialer, so if you know you want to make a phone call but you're too lazy to pull your phone out of your pocket, you can just dial a number right here. Starts calling right away, so you know, pretty cool features and functionality. Again, a lot of this stuff you obviously need to be synced up with your phone for to get the most out of it. Fitness type of things, music controls, schedules, so if you want to keep track of your meetings and all that kind of good stuff. Should be pretty useful to have something like this just on you at all times. Um, so there you go. That's going to be the Samsung Galaxy Gear.